Do women secretly hate you? You see, there are certain things most men do that make girls dislike them. And if you are like most guys, you might be doing some of these things too. In this video, I'm gonna show you the eight most common and most unattractive habits that make women dislike you instantly. Eight things that guarantee that a girl will never want to date or sleep with you again. So as you watch this video, simply take note of which ones you might be doing consciously or unconsciously, and then stop doing them immediately. Some of my girlfriends say number three and number five are the worst habits of them all. And I personally believe that number eight kills your chances with women the fastest. But anyways, all of them are bad attraction killing habits that you need to avoid now. So sit back, pay attention, and make sure you never do these eight things. I'm Marnie and from here on out, I will be your very own personal wing girl. And every week I give you the no BS insider info on what women really want versus what they say they want. Plus the most effective methods to win over any girl you like. So hit that subscribe button now so that you never miss a video. So before I dive in actually, I wanted to discuss one additional habit that I didn't include in my list but many men have that absolutely turns women off. It's the habit of men not taking care of their own health. And lucky for you, this habit is an easy one to fix with today's amazing sponsor, Ritual Essential Vitamins. I've actually been taking, which are the women's, the women's ones for like two years and I absolutely love them. And I know that you are going to love taking the men's multivitamin. So here's the thing, even though we all do our best to eat a balanced diet, there are some nutrients that are just really hard to get from food alone. So for example, over 70% of men don't get enough vitamin E and up to 97% of men don't get enough vitamin D from their diet. So Ritual made Essential for Men, the fully vegan and obsessively researched multivitamin to help fill in these nutritional gaps of a man's diet. Essential for Men is formulated with 10 key nutrients to help support men's health, including their heart, brain, muscle, and immune support, and only has the essential vitamins guys like you need. And for today only, Ritual is offering anyone who watches this video 10% off their first three months, which is awesome. And this subscription-based supplement is only about a dollar a day to have essential nutrients delivered to your door. To get your hands on these amazing supplements at 10% off your first three months, go to ritual.com slash Marnie with the code. You are going to thank me and women will like you more for it. All right, so here are the eight horribly unattractive habits that make women dislike you instantly. Number one, bragging. Bragging is a clear sign of insecurity. It shows that you don't feel good enough about yourself, so you talk about your car or your income, your achievements, and so on to make others validate you. Many guys do this hoping that a girl is gonna be impressed by what they brag about, but the truth is it never ever works. In fact, in 10 out of 10 situations, bragging would make a girl lose respect for you, lose attraction for you almost instantly. But don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's bad to talk about your achievements and stuff. Like, it's nice to know that somebody's accomplished something. But talk about it proudly if and when it comes up in conversation. If a girl asks you about your fancy car, your amazing job, a skill you're good at, and things like that, Answer without hesitation, with pride. There's nothing wrong with that. But when you force it into a conversation as a clear attempt to elevate your status in some way, that's when it becomes bragging. And that's when it becomes unattractive and dislikable. All right, moving on. Number two, disqualifying competition. Another very common thing I see a lot of guys doing a lot. So here's how it plays out. So let's say you're talking to a girl that you like and the girl looks at or talks about some other guy or celebrity crush, somebody else that's not you. You feel a bit threatened by that other person and you might decide to put him down in some way. Maybe you say something like, oh yeah, he's like good looking, but his like, that his shirt's ridiculous, like why is he wearing that shirt? Or, oh God, he's like the dumbest guy ever, probably didn't even graduate from college. Basically, you're trying to disqualify someone you think is competition for you. And while that might seem like a good strategy in the moment, it's not. You might think that by putting the other guy down, you're elevating your own status, but that's wrong and you're actually showing the girl that you're threatened by that other guy. You're showing her that you don't really trust in your own values as a man, which of course is 
super unattractive. So in those situations, it's better to either say nothing or give the other guy a nice compliment. That's gonna show her that you have high self-confidence. You're not threatened by any potential competition, which you shouldn't be. Heck, you probably don't even see that the other guy is competition and that is very attractive, okay? So moving on to number three, over complimenting. Look, compliments, they're great. I like being complimented. Every girl likes compliments. In fact, every guy likes them too. And there's nothing wrong with giving a genuine compliment to someone. But when you start over complimenting someone like, oh, you look so great. Wow, I love your eyes. Wow, you're, you're so sweet. Oh, you're, you did so good in school. You're the coolest girl that I've ever met. Like, just too much. This is when it becomes unattractive and super annoying. So over-complimenting signals to a girl that you're desperate to make her like you. In fact, it also comes across as like a bit fake. Like you're pretending to like things about her just to get in her pants. It's obviously a huge turn off and that doesn't feel very good to somebody. So the golden rule to remember is that compliment only when it's genuine. When you honestly like something about a girl, then you let her know. Let her know and move on with the conversation. And don't dwell on it, don't seek any reaction from her. Casually let her know what you like and what you don't like. And bonuses or bonus points if you can make it really specific. Like instead of, you look gorgeous tonight, you could say, that dress looks amazing on you. It's a really good choice. Like that color, no, nah, maybe not that color. That's a little bit too much. But you know what I mean. Specific compliments leave a greater impact on people. All right. Onward to the next bad habit. Number four, teasing too much. Lots of guys who watch dating advice online often hear that teasing, be being a bit edgy, challenging the girl and so on, builds attraction. And yes, I've, I, that does work. It, I've said it in several. I've said it several times on this channel, in my videos, in my programs. In fact, I even made a video recently about 22 best flirting and teasing lines that make girls want you. And you can check it out. I'll I'll put the link in the description box um, below. But here's the truth about teasing: in moderation, it's fun, it's exciting, it builds chemistry. Easily one of the best tactics to speed up the process of attraction. But when guys use it too often, when they act too edgy and too confrontational and too teasy, and they challenge a girl a bit too much, it becomes predictable and boring. It loses its power. What was exciting before now becomes really annoying and dull. And that's what you need to remember. Teasing is great, but moderation is key, just like everything. Before I move on to habit number five, I have a very small request. If you're liking this video so far and find it useful, please hit that thumbs up button on your screen and let me know, cause it makes me feel good. Nothing, uh, not only will I appreciate it a lot, but more importantly, it'll help this video reach more guys like you who need it. So take a quick second and click the like button below. Okay, if you're done, let's move on to number five, asking too many questions. Questions are important and they're an important part of conversation and you should be asking questions when talking to a girl. You should definitely be asking questions, but similar to teasing and complimenting, you don't wanna overdo it because conversations are supposed to be a give and take dynamic, like volleyball, you know, back and forth. You can ask questions as many as you like, but you should share stuff about yourself as well. Share your opinions, share your ideas, your stories, your jokes, and so on. There has to be a balance and there has to be a nice give and take. And if you just ask questions after question after question, it can feel like a job interview to the girl, which of course is not fun or exciting in any way and would drive her away and drive her crazy, honestly. What's more, when you just meet a girl for the first time, you actually have to do a lot more sharing than asking since you're an unfamiliar presence to her at that time. She's not comfortable yet talking to you. She doesn't know who you are. So you have to take the initiative and talk more. She needs to talk the most, but you have to share and talk a little bit. As you do, she's gonna start to relax and she's gonna open up more. And slowly you can move towards what I call the golden ratio of conversation, the 75-25 rule where she talks 75% of the time and you talk 25%. But again, remember, this can only happen gradually. At first, it needs to be around like 10% and you 90% when you're doing 90% of the talking and she's doing 10% of the talking. Yes, yeah. Number six, being stoically unimpressed 
Many guys seem to think that being alpha means being Mr. Stoneface all the time, showing no emotion, not being impressed by anything or anyone. And while you may have seen some movie and TV characters that pull off this stoic demeanor and impress girls with it, the truth is, in real life, it doesn't make you look cool or like an alpha in any way. It is a huge misconception and it actually makes you very boring to be around, like not fun to be around. In the real world, we girls, like a guy who's expressive, who shows emotions, who's animated with his voice, gestures and facial expressions, that's what really makes a cool and charismatic guy. It makes him fun to talk to and fun to hang out with. So if you think dressing up like James Bond and having a stoic, stone cold demeanor um, is gonna get you girls, you're mistaken. And it only happens in the movies, not in real life. All right, number seven, allowing her to interrupt you easily. Okay, this is a tiny thing, but it has a huge, huge impact. So if you let a girl you're talking to or anyone you're talking to interrupt you constantly as you say something, it sends a really bad message, the wrong message. It shows her that you're a pushover, not to be taken seriously, and people lose respect for you. Women lose respect for you. Now, yes, it's natural to get interrupted in conversation, especially when it's like exciting. It's gonna happen a lot of the time. That's not the point. It's about how you handle the interruption when it happens. If a girl interrupts you while you're saying something, do you stop and concede the floor or do you finish your point and then let it go? The latter is the better option and would actually increase her respect for you. So just finish your sentence and then address the interruption. It's a small change of habit, but it's gonna make a huge difference to how she perceives you. Moving on to the last point, and this one is very important. I said number eight, most important, and the vast majority of guys struggle with this. Number eight, inability to hold the conversation. So honestly, I don't know if this qualifies as a habit. I guess conversation is a habit, but this is, so common for most men out there. They are unable to hold a conversation for a long period of time and it completely ruins their chances of getting the women that they want. So how, how does it ruin their chances? Well, it's simple. As I've said in a previous video, a strong connection and a sense of attraction can only form over a long period of time. It's not instant as they show in the movies. I mean, sometimes it is, but most often it's not. The girl won't be swooning over you as soon as you meet her or even like 10 or 20 minutes into talking to you. It takes more time for her to let her guard down and open up to you. It takes time for that natural chemistry to build and strengthen. And without it, a girl would never agree to date or do anything sexual with you, even if you're the best guy in the entire world in every way. Which means if you want to get the girl, you need to know how to hold a long conversation. And it's a non-negotiable. Not only that, you need to know how to keep it interesting and fun so that the girl doesn't lose interest midway before that natural chemistry is built. There's no magic pill that can help you get a girl without talking to her for a long time. Maybe if you're her celebrity crush or something, it can work. But other than that, it's going to take a major miracle. Now, of course, you might wonder, so Marnie, what do I do if I have trouble holding a long conversation, a long interesting conversation? What's the solution? How do I change? that well the solution is simple it's actually very easy to become a conversation wizard believe it or not I've had so many students who went from not being able to approach women to being able to hold endless conversations with the hottest girls in less than a week's time from complete conversation amateurs to absolute master all thanks to this one video that I created on how to have endless conversation, how to keep the conversation flowing and going. And um, I have included the link to this video down below. I also have it somewhere on this screen. If you wanna click now, I want you to go watch this video. It's going to teach you how to get past that first part of conversation and just keep the conversation flowing so that it continues to build attraction between you and the girl that you're talking with. All right, that is it for me for this week. Uh, I will see you next week.